Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman. Today we are back in the flooded world, and the theme of today's episode, due to an overwhelming vote from last week's episode, is actually going to be submarines. So we're going to take a look at what kind of submarines you guys have submitted in the Discord today. Now remember, if you want to participate in submitting creations to this Flooded World series, make sure that you join the Discord and uh, there is a channel for Flooded World creation submissions. And that's where I go every week to check in on the latest submissions and use them for the episodes. So you can find that link in the description down below. Now remember last time we looked at fish and underwater sea life and you can see we actually still have some of it over here. We got our uh, our shark right there we got some of our non-mobile fish and stuff there we got an octopus right there you can see its legs moving and then of course the hermit crab looks like it's actually found a nice spot to just move around without moving around but he's staying like upright which is good so i think he's just gonna hang out there for a little bit and then we have a, something that's actually animated in the uh, ocean which is pretty cool and somewhere floating around, there's probably some sharks and whales that have gotten stuck somewhere. I'm sure we'll find them at some point. But um, yeah, making AI fish that can avoid all of the obstacles isn't the easiest thing to do. So we might take a look at some more AI creations in the future. But uh, today, it's submarines. Let's take a look at some submarines. By the way, the explosives update is officially released now. It's no longer in the test branch. So that means if you guys want to add explosives to your creations for whatever reason you might want to, then uh, we can do that. Just remember to consider how it might be related to the flooded world theme. One thing I'm, I'm thinking of is what if you have like proximity mines? Like we could have like leftover proximity mines that maybe like uh, the military left behind somewhere in the world that are just now floating around the ocean. And if the sensors uh, detect you getting too close to it, maybe like they'll get shot with a spud gun and then explode or something like that. That could be pretty interesting to see. So let's search around for some submarines and see what we're gonna be dealing with today. Submarines aren't the easiest thing to build with the buoyancy mod, as I know from building this submarine here, but uh, we'll see how you guys did. All right, first up, we have the Barracuda sub by Icebreak Plays. No description of the controls or anything, but I really like the way it looks. It looks like it uses some thrusters for thrust rather than the actual propellers, but we'll see how it works or doesn't i don't really know what to expect oh that's fantastic we've just put it upside down into the water all right let's actually let's hope it floats all right and uh oh uh oh there i hope there's ballast in it somewhere because right now it's just on the ground um how do we get it probably up where that door is we just gotta get up there there we go all right can we close this door here we are we're closing the door oh here's some ballast so there's definitely some controls for the ballast. I just have to figure out the controls. Now, I'm a little bit concerned. These ballasts look like they're actually on the bottom of the sub, which makes me feel like if we activate them for flotation that we're going to turn upside down. All right, so we got uh, six buttons, it looks like. So let's go ahead and press number uh, one. I guess we'll start with one. Okay. All right, one makes us go up. Two makes us go... Oh, we go down with thrust. How interesting. Okay, number... Th okay, so there's pitch. Number three and four are pitch. And then number five and six. Roll. All right, so then we must... It must be WASD controlled then. Ah, yes. Here we go. Here we go. I can't really see the back. Oh, look at the propellers on the back. This is actually kind of nice. All right, so six should roll us. All right, so we're on the surface right now. I think I have to hold one... Yeah, so I have to hold one if I want to stay floating. So... It's button-based, it's not switch-based, so if I release it, then I start sinking. And then now we can just look at- this actually looks really cool. I like the way the sub looks. I like the windows on the sides. Alright, so then how is turning? Turning makes us roll a little bit, but it's not too bad. Alright, let's go ahead and pitch. Oh, nope, nope, that's not pitch. Pitch back. Okay. It's a little bit weird to control but it totally works. Let's see if we can, let's see how good we are. We're gonna try to go underneath this oil platform. All right. Come on, we can do this. Are we gonna be able to fit? This actually isn't too bad to control at all. Oh, look at that. I like this sub. This is a really good start. This is an excellent start to the video. All right, let's go ahead and surface. 
The only thing I wish is that I wish um I wish the buoyancy was kind of like more on a switch because I would like to be able to surface and then uh oh wait what's going on we're not surfacing as much anymore. I would like to be able to surface and then get out of the sub and then be able to like go up onto the surface of the sub without being underwater. But um, because when we release the button, we start sinking and that, that isn't really possible. All right, so let's spawn in another sub. This is a really good one, by the way. Let's spawn in another sub and see what else we're going to be dealing with. I'm going to have to learn all kinds of different control schemes, aren't I? All right, we have something called the Minnow, which is supposed to be a plain slash sub. I'm really curious how well this is going to work. Apparently, the default is plain mode. Oh, that's cool. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, it's floating away from us. Float it away from us. Okay, so we got some but oh. Alright, so I think that's sub mode and this is plain mode. I don't know what we're doing right now. W S A D I don't um Okay. Whoa! Whoa, hold on. What's going on? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do right now. Alright, all right, we're flying. We're flying. I don't know how to pitch up. Okay, that's the pitch up. Okay, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Alright, we're just gonna have to uh <laughs> We're gonna have to get our bearings back here. All right, one, two, and three, but there's like six buttons on it. Two is thrust, three is ballast for the sub. Okay. All right, so let me look at the, all right, so W is up, S is down. Okay, I was doing the other way around. Then we can turn. I love the way that the wings look though. The wings are awesome. All right, let's try. We're gonna press number two, number three, number. Oh, all right, it's not, two isn't thrust. It's, oh, of course my lift is in the way. Number four is actually thrust. Um, um, come on, you can do it. You can do it. All right, you know what? Let's uh, let's try sub mode first. So we're gonna start here with sub mode. All right. Oh, interesting. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good either. That I don't I don't like what's happening. All right, I'm having some trouble. I'm having a little bit of uh. <laughs> having a little bit of trouble with this thing. I can't get the sub mode to work or the plane mode to work the way that I, th I think it's supposed to, and I'm not sure why. Fly! Fly! Come on, up, 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 no. Yes, yes, up! Okay, just the turning, oh, there we go. Now it's working. All right, now down. <gasps> okay, we're supposed to be looking at subs, but uh, right now we got uh, a plane. Oh no, I'm trying to pitch up. I'm pressing the pitch up. I'm pressing the pitch up and it's not working. Okay, we're turning it off. We're turning it off. We're jumping the island. <laughs> okay, let's go into sub mode now. And we're about to flip upside down. Excellent. Okay, so now for sub mode, this is now the forward. But we don't have a lot of control in sub mode. And for some reason, those WS... DA controls when I press them they don't seem to actually change anything on the craft so I don't know what's going on there so unfortunately uh the controls for this I either I can't figure it out or it's not working as intended but uh, I love the design of this thing it looks awesome especially the way that this wings are designed and the way that it transforms from like one mode into another so yeah uh thanks for this mission little goob I'm sorry if I wasn't using it correctly but uh plane mode works all right <laughs> Until I crash into the water and then jump over islands. Let's see what we can have have for like actual subs now. Maybe I got a little bit too ambitious with the plane sub. All right, so here we have a mini sub by Bunny for Bunny. So let's see what this is all about. This is really small. All right, does it float or does it sink at first? Okay, it sinks at first. I mean, we can spawn it on the bottom of the ocean here. All right, let's see. It's always good to open your hatch when you're on the sea floor. That's the most efficient way to get in and out of your sub. Um, okay, we're gonna get in here, I guess. And number one, okay. Oh, number two. Okay, there we go, number three. Okay, all right, number one. Uh-oh. I think we have to actually be going in order to turn. I don't know if we can turn left or right. Oops, whoops, whoops. All right, let's go back up. Let's go back up. Now can we, uh, here, I'm gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna go number three. Why isn't that working? Do we not? Do we not have forward propulsion? The motor's spinning, the propeller's spinning, but we're not going anywhere. Why does this thing not have forward propulsion? 
I'm not quite sure. I only I only got so many buttons I can press. I got three buttons here, and I'm using W A S D. Okay, so this didn't quite work. The oop. <laughs> hey, this didn't quite work the way that I thought it was going to work. I don't think it quite worked the way that the creator thought it was going to work either. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> I don't know if something changed with the uh, buoyancy mod when it comes to these propellers, but uh, that propeller doesn't seem to be doing anything at all. So uh, we're gonna have to move on to another one. So make sure you guys test your creations in a flooded world uh, before you submit them. Unless it's possible that with all the updates and stuff, I'm actually, I hope that the explosive update didn't break some of the mods. That might actually, that could be the case. So I'm sorry if that's the case. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that, but some of the, I mean, well, the thruster based ones worked, but maybe the wings mod based, um, or the buoyancy mod based propulsion is bro might be broken for this, um, for this update. I don't, I don't actually know though. All right, let's try this one by, uh, Mr. Derpy Otter. Oh boy, that one floats right away. This is an interestingly designed sub. I like the way it looks. What is that? Is, is this like a, a viewing cockpit with thrusters pointing at you if you're in there? <laughs> Ooh, look at that seat. All right, we have one button. I don't know what that button does. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and go. Hey, this seems to work pretty well. But does it... It's supposed to be a sub. Does it go underwater? I don't know what's happening. Number one doesn't do anything. Number one seems like it doesn't do anything, and I'm worried that this might be a result of the update possibly interfering with the mods, like the scripted mods. Because my assumption is that number one would have made us go submersible underwater, but it doesn't seem to be working. Either way, this is actually a really nice surface level sub that just uh, just kind of skims along the surface. But we were experiencing this issue with these WASD buttons or things that are in the uh, inventory bar, in the hotkey bar. They seem to not be working as intended. So I don't know what's going on with that. So if any of your creations are the ones that I've tried that weren't working, then let me know down in the comments if it seems like the update has broken it or perhaps I was just bad at it and it was working the way it was supposed to work and I just didn't do it right. Let's take a look at this thing. Hopefully this doesn't have these controls, uh, these control issues as well. This is made by Polger PL. It does say it has WASD. So hopefully it's like, no, no, come back. Hopefully it's like normal WASD. Is there a way for me to get, how do I even get in here in the first place? All right, looks like there's a switch on top. So if I climb on top, this should work. But I, this thing looks cool. I wonder how like functional all this stuff is. All right, there we go. Oh, okay, okay. It's carrying us up to the surface. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Okay, it looks like it has normal control. That's good. All right, what does number zero do? I don't know. Number, oh, it's number zero is lights. Number one or number nine. I'm trying to close the door. There we go. Number seven is the door. Okay. Let's see if it looks like WASD was the controls, right? All right, A and D tilts us. Oh, okay. Whoa, no way. I don't know how this works, but W and S is buoyancy. And it's like changing it in between different states. So now I'm like kind of neutral, but if I hold W, now I'm going up and now I hold S. And you can see me go back down and there's like a happy medium. I can keep tapping W and I'm going to tap S a little bit. I'm gonna slow down how much I go up. So I can actually kind of like zero the buoyancy rather than just having buoyant, not buoyant, buoyant, not buoyant. I can have more and less using W and S. I don't know how that's working exactly, but as I press it, I hear an electric engine going. Okay, so there it is. So it must be how many sensors are activated that then determines how many of the ballasts or how many of the whatever's controlling the buoyancy is then activated and two sensors must be relatively neutral. Whereas all sensors off is completely buoyant. That's really cool. All right, so now we got to figure out how to like go. All right, so number one is forward. Number two is backwards. Number three is to turn left. Four is to turn right. Five. Whoa. Okay, five is apparently just to like go down a little bit. And six is to go up just a little bit. I'm liking the way this thing works. Number seven, or number, we won't know what number seven does. Number eight. We have our gun. Number eight is the gun. Number nine is to move the arm up and down. And then number zero is our lights. 
Oh, look at the arm. It's like on like a program. That's cool. All right, now let's try to actually go around here. All right, look at that. This is probably the, like the controls of this. Well, it's hard to say because the other controls are clearly uh, glitched out because of the update. But so far, the controls of this, despite being a little bit difficult to get used to, um, I, after figuring them out, they work really, really well. Like, this is amazing. All right, now let's see. How do we turn again? There we go. All right, now we're turning. And then to go up a little bit, I press what? Z no, not A. Oops, I forget the... Oh, no. Seven? Five and seven? No, five and six. Okay, six is to go up just a little bit. Oh, we have so much control over our buoyancy. I don't know how you did this, but I like it. I like it a lot. So six is to like go up a little bit and I can like turn. Oh, this is great. This is so good. All right, let's go. Let's go over to that, uh, the giant skull over there and let's clean his teeth. Let's go over and clean his teeth. We're gonna go and use our little arm here and we're gonna try to see if we can maneuver ourselves accurately enough so that we can actually like pick at its teeth a little bit. All right, how do we turn again? There we go, turning to the right. All right, now we can slow down. We get a little bit of a reverse. Okay, here we go. Now let's turn. Very slowly but surely we are turning. We're gonna go up a little bit. I'm getting the hang of this. All right. Oh, you ready for your dental cleaning, Mr. Ancient Giant Sea Creature? Right, we're gonna go forward a little bit, up, forward. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, you just gotta get right in between there. You know, you really gotta floss, Mr. Ancient Crazy Fish. Uh, let's go up a little bit. Looks like it doesn't have collisions. We're, we're actually penetrating his teeth here. These rocks don't have collisions. Whoops, I accidentally shot. Here, we're just gonna go ahead and give you a nice cleaning. We're gonna shoot right through you. All right, and then we're going to uh, activate our arm. There you go, you feel it? You feel it? Cleaner already. Yeah, there we go. All right, yeah, just like that. We're just gonna clean that tooth there. Hey, let's see what first person looks like. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at this, all right, get my controls back. We're just gonna clean, whoops. I'm just gonna give these teeth a nice good cleaning here. All right, good. Now let's, uh, let's go over. Whoops. Oh, no, I got out. <laughs> let's go over to the right here. We're going to go ahead and, uh, whoop, let's put follow camera on. We're going to go ahead and try to get your front teeth a little bit more clean as well. So here, we're going to go up, go to the right, and then we got to go forward. Start turning left here. All right, we're going to have to turn around now. This is cool. First person is awesome with this thing. There we go. All right, we're gonna get these big front teeth here. Man, it looks like you need some braces. Your teeth are misaligned, Mr. Giant Ancient Fish person. Fish, not person, J just fish. <laughs> Take out the person. All right, moving in nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. All right, there we go. Gonna give you a nice cleaning. They're flossed right in between your front teeth. There we go. Look how easy this thing is to control. This is awesome. I think this has to be one of my favorites. It really feels like we're in a research vessel here. All right, now let's go ahead. We can just move backwards. We can uh, bid him adieu and turn on around and just head along our merry way over to wherever we want to go. This is a fantastic research sub. We are definitely have to gonna do some more exploration with this thing. And if we wanted to, we could even like we can roll ourselves too, which is pretty cool. All right, so then if I, whoa, that's actually kind of, it's kind of rocky when we do that. Then if I wanted to, I could just like sink ourselves down to the bottom. Now I don't have to press anything. We're just gonna go down to the bottom and we can nice and gently rest on the sea floor. And if I want to, we can go ahead and hold W and now we'll get uh, positively buoyant and then we can rest on the surface. And what this allows us to do now, if we press number seven, we can open up our hatch. I should have probably waited until we weren't bobbing quite as much. But uh, after a minute here, we'll stop bobbing. <laughs> there we go. And then we can get on out and we're on the surface now. 
All right, I have to say that uh, so far, this is one of my favorites because of how much control we have over everything and how fine-tuned we can do everything. Um, I hope that the mods that are interacting with those WASD blocks gets fixed soon. That way we can check out some of those other subs in their true glory rather than the buggy stuff that we had to deal with for this episode. But uh, I think it was it was all worth it to get to this thing right here. This is, uh, this is a really good one. So leave some comments down below letting me know what you want to see for the theme of the next episode. Uh, we still haven't built anything on this world and we're perfectly capable of doing that too. We got some empty islands all around us. We could uh, start building some survival camps and things like that. And I've seen a lot of you have been submitting some like survival rafts and stuff. We're definitely going to take a look at some of those soon. Um, so let me know what do you want to see on this world. And I'm going to be looking at those comments and hoping to see, hoping to get some inspiration for which creations to focus on next time. Or we could just do a big variety episode where I don't really look at anything in particular. But that then makes the thumbnail and title really hard to do since um, so many different things are going to be in the video. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.